Today we're going to make a bench that has a foot like an ogre and a whole lot of character. I have a bunch of black walnut logs in my backyard, so I decided that it was finally time to use them and figure out a project based around having logs and wanting to use a chainsaw. I used an Arbortech turboplane attached to my angle grinder to remove most of the excess of the outside of the wood, such as the bark and the dead wood, and I ate a few termites during that process. But it's a really fast and easy way to clean up the outside of the wood that you know you don't want but it would take forever to sand off and might I add, it's really fun to use. I wanted to use logs for the legs of the bench, so I cut this log in half to give it roughly a 14 inch height. I fastened some scrap pieces of plywood to the top of my quote workbench so that I could raise the logs off of it and get to the bottom of it with the angle grinder. I leveled out the top of the log a little bit before sanding it with a belt sander. And because my cuts weren't very straight the first time, I had to sand off a lot, so on the other log I had to cut off a little bit more. When we originally felled the tree, we milled some slabs as well, so I cut one of those to length and sanded it with a belt sander and then with an orbital. I wanted to keep some of the natural characteristics of the wood, so I used a really high grit sandpaper. Well, not that high, it was 220, but I used a 220 grit on my orbital sander to remove the bark and leave the texture. And the same went for the log legs. Since I couldn't figure out how to do my original very complicated project, I ended up doing this simple bench, but I thought it'd be a little more interesting if I changed up the way it was fastened together. So I drilled holes about three quarters of an inch down, put screws through the holes, and then used aluminum rods as caps for those holes. I used a cutoff wheel on my angle grinder to cut the pieces of aluminum. And then I used my handy switch pliers to pull the very hot piece of aluminum off the rod. And I sanded the edges clean with my orbital sander. I thought the edges of the slab made it look a little too square and didn't match up with the legs, so I ended up rounding them over with a chainsaw and then turboplaning again to get a better grade and then sanding it smooth. In hindsight, I actually liked the squared edges better, but it's too late now. And I finished the wood with one coat of Danish oil. And for those hard to reach places, I just used a tiny paintbrush to get the oil in there. So this was something totally new for me. I used a chainsaw, first time, and I wore boots. For, well, it's not the first time I've worn boots. This was my first time chainsawing. That is why I started out with one project and then changed it and changed it and changed it and changed it until like 17 iterations later, I have this final thing. 
I think it's as good as I could have made it. I didn't really know what I was doing. I had a lot of ideas and you know what? I'm not a designer. I'm not a woodworker. I'm just someone who makes things and puts it out there. So there it is. So thank you to Carolina. I really appreciate your support and I appreciate your boots because you know what? I don't usually wear boots because they're really stiff and I have weird feet and they hurt a lot. But these boots were actually really comfortable. I, I was surprised because I literally have trouble finding shoes that fit me well. So well done. And uh, just in case you're wondering, they can't pay me to say I like them. That's me. I like them. We've nicknamed it the Ogre Bench because, well, it does kind of have one ogre foot for a side. But it was fun to try something different and do something that's completely out of my comfort zone. Follow me on Instagram to see what I'm doing next or currently or something like that. So this was something to- yeah. Oh, the camera's over there. I don't know why I'm holding my hands like this. This was new. I wore, <laughs> I wore chainsaws. Give me a thumbs up because you like chainsaws. Don't forget to comment that this is not modern. And subscribe because I'm trying new things and you're very interested to see what I'm going to do next.